All right, so we're back, and here are the two um, double saxophone stands in question. The one closest to us, next to the alto case, is the old one that I've had for many years. And then the other one, with the blue tape on it, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there, uh, is the one I bought recently to replace the old one. Now, the old one has a little play in the rivets. If you look at the center here, it's riveted together. Uh, and it turns, this is where it folds up. Um, it's got a little bit of play in it, but I never felt unsafe putting the horn on here. There you go. Fine. It's a little, a little loose, right? But I never had any trouble putting either of the horns on this. Never felt unsafe. Now let's go back to the new one. This is Winston, it says that's made by. And this one is made by Hamilton. This is a new item. I bought this on Newman and Brassman, I believe. Um, so when I put this down, and I put the tenor in, it's just loose. It's, that's really how the, the center of gravity is too far this way. And yeah, look at that. That really just wants to go. Man, that would not take much to knock that horn over. Um, it doesn't seem to matter how flat, you know, in this old apartment that I live in, the floors aren't great. It's a little, a little uneven, but it doesn't matter where. I brought this to a few gigs, and on any floor, it's so wobbly, I'm terrified to put the sax point in there. So that's why uh, I'm afraid to even leave it in there now while I talk to you. Uh, so it's kind of a waste of money. It's not a good stand. The old one I was better off with the old one. Um, but now I have this Hercules. So let's bring the Hercules over and we'll fill it up with instruments so you can see what it looks like. All right, we're going to start with the tenor. The tenor fits in there real nice. I haven't tried the con, but the Selmer fits right in here. Real solid. Doesn't wobble. It's a cow. And when I try to bring it back, it doesn't want to move. There's a lot of the feet are really far back. And so that seems real nice. Okay, next is the soprano. Now, I was showing you before that it had an adjust the bottom of the soprano stand is adjustable, and I found out why. I had it all the way down to the bottom, and the soprano didn't quite fit. The ball that's on the end got stuck right about here so I raised the bottom up and now it fits just nice and it really fits nice and straight up and down it doesn't wobble it's a really nice saxophone stand for the soprano I'm pretty impressed with the fit of that okay next is the alto now this is where there's a little concern as I put the alto in uh, it's not as tight a fit as the tenor it's a little loose in the cradle uh, for the alto. However, um, it seems to fit in there nice. It's not going to come out this way. It's not going to fall over either way. It's safe. It just it's a little, a little more wobbly than I'd prefer it to be. And then you've got your two stands for flout and clarinet so yeah I mean everything fits real nice on this thing and uh, it seems to be real sturdy it's a huge stand it takes up a lot of space but everything fits on there now I don't really for the for the gigs I would use this for I really don't improvise much on flute and clarinet uh, so I really don't need it for that but I certainly need it for alto tenor and soprano and they all sit on there real nice so I'm looking forward to Using on this, it's a well-made machine, um, and we'll do a video of uh, breaking it down um, and uh, showing you how small it is once it's broken down. All right, so I'm going to see how quick we can break this down. Um, take everything off of it. 
Okay. Alto. Soprano. Again, that soprano stand is really nice. And then tenor. Okay. So now we just disassemble these parts here. One, two, three. have these little ball releases so that goes down there and that folds up this one does the same okay which means you have to readjust your settings for the foot that holds the bottom of your horn and then I think this went this way and this goes this way and then these go this way Okay, one, two, and then these fold in like this, and there you go, and that should fit pretty easily in a backpack, I'm pretty sure it will, and that's a good thing, because when you're carrying around a bunch of horns, uh, it's really nice if everything else just fits in your backpack, right? So there you go, there's your Hercules double saxophone stand, you can see the Hercules on there. I hope this is on camera for you. If not, I'll shoot it all again. Uh, and there you go. So it wasn't a cheap item, but it looks great, and it, it seems really sturdy, which is exactly what you need. Uh, and I'm looking forward to taking this out to, uh, to a gig where I use more than one horn, and uh, I have enough space to use a stand, and it's safe, and you don't got to worry about a bus boy knocking over your Selmer Mark 6 tenor or whatever your deal is. So... A lot of factors in that, but at least now I have a stand that I can trust that, uh, that I'm pretty happy with. And this might even fold up better if I do it in the right order. Uh, like I said, I just got this, so I'm new to it. So we'll see how all that goes. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to try to keep more uh, saxophone videos coming here for you for the Saxophone Geek. It's been a little while since I put something up. Um, but I have some other stuff coming that uh, we'll be able to do videos on. And, uh, and that's all. Thanks a lot. And uh, subscribe if you can. And uh, thanks again.